Hey guys, what's up? How are you? My name is Amy. If you're new here and today I'm going to be making macaroni burgers. The inspiration for this came from watching back on old videos of Kalel. She's one of like the first YouTubers I started watching. I've been a pretty dedicated fan of hers. So she actually had this like vegan expo, I think, vlog. And she was tasting this like macaroni vegan burger thing. And it looked delicious. I'm not going to make the vegan version. I'm going to make the meat eater version. But I've never had macaroni in a burger but I don't see how it cannot taste good because it's like a cheese substitute and it sounds really delicious so yeah I'm really excited to try it today so I decided to make it with you guys I've never made like burger patties myself like I've always made like pasta and different things but I've never made burgers so it's my first time um, I've actually made vegan burgers but I've never made like meat burgers so anyways I have my craft dinner we have sharp cheddar and extra creamy um, but I think I'm gonna use the sharp cheddar so we have more like I don't know flavor I guess in the burger but I have to say I've literally never made a craft dinner in my life I'm not a huge fan of like super saucy foods like I really like simple like pretty plain food so I just feel like this has like a lot of cheese sauce in it and so I never gravitate towards it so I've never made it but we're gonna make it today so I hope you guys enjoy this journey with me I hope it tastes good I have no idea I will link the recipe that I'm going off of down below because it didn't require a whole lot of ingredients that I didn't have but I'm gonna be using oyster sauce instead of Worcestershire sauce <laughs> I don't know how to say that I'm gonna be using like punkle instead of bread but yeah i hope you guys enjoy and let's go ahead and get started okay so the first thing i'm doing is just boiling some water adding a little salt to make it boil a little faster i'm just gonna throw in the lid and i'm just gonna make this first like while i'm prepping the burger meat stuff so I'm just gonna let that boil okay so i'm just grabbing a bowl and i'm using panko it says one piece of white sandwich bread but i'm just gonna use panko so i don't know that looks like not enough, I guess. I'm gonna put in a little bit more. So I'm just using this one right here. Just putting in a little bit of milk into the bowl. And I'm also gonna just measure out my milk for the macaroni as well now. So it says one third cup, I think. Measure out a third cup. And now I'm just gonna mix up the panko and the milk. I don't know, I feel like this is not enough milk so it's supposed to become like a chunky paste and i feel like right now it's like really dry so i'm gonna add a little bit more milk just a little back to the breadcrumbs i think i still need more it's not becoming like a paste texture there we go there it is it looks pretty chunky now so i like i think it's supposed to look like that okay so next i'm adding in the salt Ketchup, we're doing how much are we doing? Two tablespoons, so we're doing one tablespoon, maybe like that. And I'm also using some oyster sauce. There we go. And I'm mixing it together. I also need to cut up my garlic. <laughs> okay, so the macaroni is out. The pot was like way too small, so like. <laughs> I don't think I did it very well, but anyways, the macaroni is here. I'm adding in the milk, adding in the packet that came with it. I'm also using a little bit of butter to mix it in. So I'm gonna do like, I don't know, just a little chunk. There we go. I'm gonna mix it together. So now I'm gonna cut some garlic and some remaining onion that I have and we're gonna put it into this mixture here. Okay, so I'm gonna add this into the mixture. There we go. I'm just mixing it in. I'm also gonna cut up this onion that I have. Okay, I think 
that's all that's left. Sorry, onions. I think all that's left is adding in the meat. So I'm adding in all of this. Ooh. I'm also getting my pan ready. I don't really want to touch it, so I'm wearing gloves. And I'm just going to start mushing it together. <laughs> to see how it tastes. I'm gonna set up the table now and hopefully it tastes good. So I'll see you guys when I'm taking my first bite. So I'm having my first bite right now. I'm excited. Mm. Mm. It's good. I feel like I didn't get much meat, so give me a sec. <laughs> oh my God, it's really good. Wow. So I think it's really good. I didn't, um, I gave like the ones that just came off the grill to my parents. So they have like the warm meat and I have like the cold one, but it's still really good. I think the burger itself, because I substituted different things for other things, but it was still really good. 
so yeah and the mac and cheese is like a good like substitute for the usual slices of cheese that are on burgers so i think it's really good but i feel like if you put tomatoes or like lettuce in them i feel like it would like slide off so i don't know but it was still really good i kind of wish i had fries on here but it's just the burger hey guys i just finished eating and i just wanted to give you guys my final thoughts so the burgers itself were really really good it had really good reviews on the website as well so yeah it was delicious it was juicy like i didn't really know what i was doing but it turned out pretty good so i'm happy about that the mac and cheese i honestly like i thought it was gonna be like super strong cheesy taste but it wasn't it was actually really like a good balance with the burgers i do think like putting lettuce and tomato would add like a little bit more texture and flavor but yeah i just didn't really have time for that and i also don't have lettuce in my house right now so yeah but it was honestly delicious i'm happy with it gotta say that it took me a little bit longer to make it just because it was my first time making it but it was still really delicious yeah so if you guys are gonna make it make sure you don't put it on super high heat it's not on maximum or anything like medium to high when you first put the patty there and then when you when it starts to kind of have like a little bit of burntness on the bottom then you flip it and then you turn it to like medium to like probably just medium honestly medium maybe a little bit lower and let it just slowly cook from there so that it's not pink on the inside yeah that was my first time making burgers i feel like i wasn't talking enough like in the video um because i was honestly mostly stressed out <laughs> because it was starting to burn but it was pink on the inside and stuff so yeah but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was entertaining i don't even know if this footage is usable but hopefully it is but yeah i had a really fun time like experimenting and usually i do like baking videos so today i was cooking but i do cook dinner pretty often i just don't really document that one but yeah if i experiment with other dinner recipes i will let you guys know and hopefully i can bring you along i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so so much for watching i'm excited i'm happy that i have some leftovers so i can have some later and yeah i will link the recipe down below so make sure you check that out but hope you have a good rest of your day or night and i will see you very soon bye